And the reason that God has given us his faith is so we can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. That's what it says. That's what it says in our verse, right? Yes. So, put on the whole armor of God. We're going to be dealing with the, the devil. But then, but then, but wait, as they say on the infomercials. I'm sure that this must have happened in earlier history. But I am of, I, I was in the military, I flew in the Navy when Vietnam started through the beginning years of Viet, the Vietnam War. Mm-hmm. Not a conflict, not a police action, it was a war. Yes. And one of the things that showed up pretty much for the first time, now there's always been a thing called friendly fire, mm-hmm. where people have been killed by their own, by their, by, not by enemy forces, but wow. typically by misplaced, wow. you know, a, a bomber would fall on their own forces rather than uh, yeah, that's friendly fire. But there was a thing they called fragging yeah. in Vietnam. And I think this was unique because it became all too commonplace where American soldiers would kill other American soldiers because they could get away with it in the heat of war. Oh, wow. That's that's friendly fire. It's very, very unfriendly, right? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, in 1971, there was a comic, I, I remember seeing this when it happened, called Pogo. Yes. It was a famous comic strip. And in 1971, I think it was Walt Kelly that did this comic strip. There was a famous one where these are animals, you know, cartoon animals, and they live in the swamp. Pogo was a, uh, I was not a raccoon, a possum, that's what he was, a possum. And he had a friend who was called Alligator, mm-hmm. who was an alligator in the swamp. And there's a, the cartoon shows them in this boat going through the swamp. And they're looking at, the, the swamp is filled with garbage, is what it is. And Pogo says, we have met the enemy, and he is us. All too often, one of the worst enemies that you're ever going to meet in your, in your life, spiritually, the is the one you see in the mirror over there. Okay. Talk about fiery arrows. I, I said years ago, and this became kind of a common saying with me. The thing that can lead to death in the life of a Christian is a failure to repent. Thank God that we have, we have a God who is faithful to forgive. If we are faithful to confess our sins to him, repent. And he is faithful and just to forgive our sins. Because sin separates you from God. And separation from God is death. Right? Absolutely. But there is something. And here's what I've been saying. Excuses are the fiery arrows shot from the pits of hell to kill repentance. If you've done something wrong and you excuse it away, you make Make excuses excuses for it. It will kill repentance in your life. You know, it says in James that we, we gotta be we have to be quick to listen. We gotta be quick to hear. Right? And slow to speak. Slow to anger. Slow to anger. For the anger of man does not accomplish the righteousness of God. That's right. But the simple fact of the matter is we had better train ourselves to be quick to repent. When Adam was caught in his trespass, he didn't repent. You know, when he was caught in the garden, the first thing he did was ran and hid from God. He separated himself from God. That's what sin drives you to do. And when the Lord encountered him and said, "What's? I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm paraphrasing, unless it says it like this in the Message Bible, which is good. Okay, okay. He said, Adam, what's going on here? And Adam said, the woman that you made, he's immediately, there's three of them there. And Adam places the blame on everybody but himself. Now it says it's sin entered the world through Adam. He was the guy responsible. And yet he's blaming God and he's blaming the woman. He's excusing it and failed to repent. I don't know what would have happened, and neither do you, if instead of running off and hiding, he would have ran and sought God, fell on his face, and repented. I don't know. 
I think we'd be in a different story. I, yeah, I think maybe we'd be living a different story right now, okay? So train yourself. If you're going to be victorious in this battle, train yourself. Know the word. Confess the word. Live the word. Follow Jesus Christ. Don't be eager to be seen. Be eager to be hidden in Christ Jesus. To go behind that shield. To go into that shelter. Where the arrows can't get you. Where the bombs can't harm you. Where God will have you in the palm of his hand. And no man can snatch you out. This is the word. And we have to train ourselves to live. Okay? Yeah.